Hey y'all, Stephanie here. So let's talk about a conversation that I've been having an awful lot lately and I'd like to try and clear up just a little bit to help you out with your hiring process. So recently I had a client come to me and they mentioned how frustrated they were with the people who were applying for the position that they had listed on all the websites they had it listed on. And as we started to go through, of course, the applications, I realized, you know, something's not quite right here. And I, I backed it up and I said, wait a second, let's look at your job ad. And so we backed it up and they pulled up the job ad. And what happened was they had posted the job description as the job ad. So of course they were getting a ton of people who were um, more detail oriented than customer service oriented. And I see this mistake happen a lot, a lot, where small business owners, um, even big business owners simply take the job description, copy and paste that onto whatever website they're using for hiring and bam, that's what goes out. And then they wonder why they're not getting candidates that match the profiles and personalities that they are looking for. So here's my recommendation, biggest recommendation, if you are currently hiring, First is that your job description is not your job ad. Your job description is what is the person doing for you. It's a list of their reoccurring activities, things that they need to expect, um, skill sets they will probably leverage. And I'm gonna be honest, I am not even a fan of putting skill sets that you'll leverage on the job description, um, just because the job description is about the tasks you're doing. The job description should be a single page document that you can use to hold your team accountable to whatever it is they're supposed to be doing with their job. It should be the document your team can pull up and say, this is what I'm doing and this is how my success or failure in my role with this company is measured. And as long as I do the stuff listed on here, I'll be successful, which as I'm talking, some of you are going, but Stephanie, that does sound an awful lot like a job ad. Here's where it differs. So a job description is everything we just talked about, but a job ad is where I'm going to lay out what kind of company they're gonna come work for, um, what kind of person is going to do best in this position. Now, here's the thing, I could give them the job description and let them figure out whether they're gonna do well in that position, but how many times have you tried that and gotten applicants that just were not a fit? Yeah. We all have. So do yourself a favor and write a job description or a job ad that talks about and really appeals to who you want. I will absolutely never forget. A few years back, I was working with a client and we put out this one job description or this one job ad and we got a bunch of applicants that were C, um, S's and C's in, in the, the DISC profile. Now we were looking for D's and I's and so all of the applicants being S's and C's was kind of a surprise for a moment. And then I went back and looked at the job ad and I realized, oops, uh, we designed this job ad for... S's and C's, like it's no wonder only S's and C's are replying because that's how the job ad was written in a way that would appeal to them. Longer sentences, focusing on the people aspect, the people side, and, and how we require detailed record keeping and all of these pieces that an S and a C are like, yeah, sounds great, I can do that. So when we rewrote the job ad, we put in shorter sentences, bullet points. We talked about the hype, the fun, the excitement of this position. Now we started getting the D's and the I's applying for the position that we wanted. So do yourself a huge favor. And if you have a job description posted somewhere as your job ad, first and foremost, take that down. Secondly, write a job ad that is going to appeal to the kind of person you want. And yes, this does mean you're gonna have to take just a minute to figure out what kind of person do you want, but it is going to eliminate or at least heavily limit the amount of time you're doing on the back end screening candidates. So take some time and ask yourself, who do I want? What kind of personality profile? What do I want them to be interested in, engaged in, excited about? Um, what about my company would draw them in? Talk about uh, core values or at least uh, allude to your company core values. Yes, you can give them an idea of what they're doing with the job, but maybe just give them their primary and their secondary outcome for the position and say, you're going to be responsible for doing this and this training will be provided. That's it. That's all you have to do. So change it up. Save yourself some time. Save your sanity. You got this. You're amazing. Knock them dead.